Can you rewrite your soul contract? Yes. And what is a soul contract? You as the higher self before you came to this incarnation, the ultimate higher self, because we have many, <laughs> but the ultimate higher self, you said, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, Y, I'm here. I'm going to meet these people and learn these lessons and heal these things and help uh, these persons in the community, your soul mission. <laughs> and that's great. We love that. We love plans. However, sometimes you get here and you're like, oh, that's not exactly what I want to be doing. And I'm going to give you an example of that. But I want you to think that you are traveling across the country and you have put your destination in Google Maps and it's giving you a very specific route. Well, at any time you can go visit another city. You can take some different highway. It's going to rearrange the map, but you're going to get to the same destination. The path might just look differently. Okay. So you can do that anytime with anything because you have free will and your human <laughs> is living a different experience than your higher self and your multidimensional self. Okay. They're, they're in a completely different level of consciousness and sometimes your human be going through it. <laughs> And they're like, actually, I want to do something completely different. And that's totally fine. It's like if you went to school to become a dentist and halfway through, you're like, you know what? I want to go become a dancer. <laughs> so an example of this was I had a client the other day and I was looking at her soul contract and she had actually spoken a vow over herself in her soul contract. Now, a vow is a declarative statement over self of something that you are going to do or not do. Sometimes it's very positive, sometimes it's negative, but it can really redirect your life's journey. And so when I was looking at it, I said, oh, you have spoken a vow over yourself of I am going to help the humans that are struggling. And that is why she incarnated to help a person's get on their most aligned timeline, beautiful. However, I said, if you're running a vow like that, you're going to pull in more people who are struggling because what we place energy and intention on is what we get more of. And sometimes those persons aren't even struggling. That is your own projections onto them. And if you're running a vow, that might make you feel like that you're really struggling in life because that's programming that you are, uh, running. <laughs> I said, how about this instead? How about we say, I want to help everyone thrive. I am thriving. They are already thriving. I am going to help amplify that. Maybe they need a little bit more direction and clarity and guidance, but they're good. They're happy. They're motivated. They're determined. They are a able to see what is available for them in life. They just might need somebody to hold their hand while they're getting there. <laughs> that is so much heightened energy. That is feeling amazing helping people, right? Instead of going down into these deep, dark realms <laughs> where everybody is sad. Right? And when you, you are the operant power of your reality. You get to choose what kind of experience you have. And so everybody is living in their own realms of existence. And if you are saying everyone is struggling, that is sending those vibrations and frequencies out into the collective and speaking that over a lot of persons. And you're interacting with people then in that manner, where if you say, in my reality, I'm good, I'm happy, I'm forward motivated, I'm very self-aware, uh, I'm looking for the magic in life, and so is everybody else in my reality, and we're all getting there uh, together, that's what you're going to experience, and it's going to be a better one for you and for everybody else that is in your life, or, or in the bigger collective as well. And so in pivoting her soul contract and rewriting that and clearing that vow, we we were actually able to go even deeper with her soul mission and get her even more excited about it because her original one was, I want to help persons who are in transitional phases and helping them get more clarity and direction about where they want to move into the next chapters of life. Great soul mission. And I said, there's something even deeper though. What you actually want to be doing is helping bring back magic onto the planet. Magic's already here, <laughs> but helping people perceive that within and without and making it more tangible for them, helping them perceive into different frequencies and dimensions and connecting to these multidimensional facets of self, still doing 
helping persons with transitional phases, but then having an even bigger ultimate goal for them and yourself and so that we can all be living in the new earth paradigm together, experiencing those things. And she was like, oh, heck yeah. She was like, that's actually what I want. And I was like, yeah, we just needed to clear that vow out <laughs> so that you could have a more expansive soul mission and goals that you're working on yourself but also for other people not just looking at the short term of like oh I just need to help people get out of struggle mm -mm. what what's even further out than that <laughs> what is the ultimate plan for everyone and we need to have that rooted in something that makes us feel really good and lights us up for this chat the answer is yes you can edit your soul contract at any time vows, karmic lessons that you're working on, you get to choose what experience that you're having in your reality. And if you have any questions about soul contracts, vows, karmic lessons, I would love to hear them in the comments. And if it's your first time meeting me, my name is Sage and I am a spiritual coach and mentor helping you connect to your multidimensionality, rediscover the ancient magic that you hold within and helping you reach higher levels of consciousness. So remember to give a follow if you'd like to see more content like this and I hope you have a very magical day.